Unboxing for camera. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, you guys? My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a Los Angeles-based actor, and here you will find personal stories of my journey as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. In this video, I will be giving you guys three easy steps to start your journey as an actor. Without further ado, let's roll the camera and action. preface this video with a very important caveat. If acting isn't something that you have to do, don't do it. There is a lot of rejection that can impact your mind psychologically. Go! You gotta win a little. Merry Christmas. Next, TQ. A lot of competition and a lot of temptation to do everything else but acting. Unless you have that urge inside of you that feels incomplete if you're not acting, then I suggest don't do it. With that proviso out of the way, let's get into it. First, I want you to define what success means to you. A lot of people get into acting because they think that Hollywood's arms are wide open just for you and waiting for your talent to come over here and hand you stardom. <laughs> be farther from the truth. In fact, it's quite the opposite. If you find yourself chasing stardom, the chances are you're chasing it away. Does overnight success happen to some people? Yes, but that's few and far between. It's kind of like hitting the lottery. If you have the right intentions behind your endeavor into acting, then know that this career is a marathon and not a sprint. Maybe for you, success means that you're working consistently enough to make a living as an actor. Or it could be something smaller than that. Maybe you want to stand out in your local community theater scene. Or you want to make extra money doing regional work, short films, or even regional theater. That's awesome. Not everyone has to be a superstar in order to fulfill their potential as an actor. So let's break down the three steps. Step number one, take an acting class. Many people think that they can get by with their looks and charming personalities alone. Welcome to scene study night. <laughs> if I had known 50 years ago that I would be working with young actors like these, I would have hanged myself. If it's not true for any other artistic endeavor, it's certainly not true for acting. An acting class will teach you technique, script analysis, how to build a character, how to perform on stage or in front of a camera, audition technique. These skills are vital when it comes to booking your first job, professional or amateur alike. Even if you have no experience as an actor, but have some training, you will not be a deer in the headlights when it comes to performing on stage for the first time. And believe me, there will be nerves. I think we got it. Let me see. Step number two, get your headshots and resume. Okay, so you've been in your acting class for about six months now. You're starting to get an idea on how to play characters and you've done some scene work. Now you're getting curious because someone's walking through the door and opening it and making lots of noise. Now you're starting to get curious about going out and audition. The first thing you need is a headshot or an actor's calling card. Find a photographer in your area that specializes in actors' headshots. Choose a couple of looks, dramatic and comedic, and get those pictures taken. Make sure that the photographer captures who you are, your essence. You don't want a glamorized, touched up version of yourself. Casting directors wanna make sure that the person coming through that door matches their headshot. I take it from someone who's had to audition actors before. Many times, an actor does not look like their headshot. Also in this step, you wanna start working on your resume. An actor's resume goes hand in hand with their headshot. The format for an actor's resume is different than a regular one. Go on Google and search. Actor resume template and follow that example. Even if you have no credits at all, you could still put your acting classes on your resume. Step number three, start submitting. Okay, so you have acting classes under your belt. Now you have your headshot and resume. Now it's time to start submitting. Find all the local community theaters in your area and see when they're holding auditions for their next play. Many times community theaters have a full season of work and they leave it open to people in their community to come and audition. My only warning is that community theaters tend to do a lot of musical theater. So if you don't already know how to sing, you can either take voice lessons or just pass on the audition altogether. But don't ever pretend to know how to do something you don't know how to do because chances are they will ask you to do it and then 
Getting cast in community theater can be a little bit tough because people in the community... <laughs> Many times, people in the community have worked with the theater for a while and they have an advantage over casting. But don't let that discourage you. Submit and audition anyway, because even if you don't get it, you will still be building up your resiliency skills. Find theater companies in your area. These might be smaller private theater companies that require auditions or other stipulations to be a part of. In these types of theater companies, only members can audition for their shows. So audition for the theater and see if you can become a member. You will build a network of actors, plus you will get a chance to work in some smaller, more intimate theater where they tend to do a lot more intense work. Contact your local college's film studies department and say, hey, I'm an actor and I'm interested in doing your student short films. In film courses, students are often required to film their own student short film. And guess what they're gonna need? Actors. <laughs> This is a great way to get experience in front of a camera in a low, non-pressure environment. Plus, it'll be great material for your actor reel. Another place where you can look for audition is a website called Actors Access. Create an account, make a profile, pay the yearly fee, and voila! Choose your region and start submitting to projects. This is a very good actor tool because if you live in a small region, you now have access to bigger projects. Plus, sometimes big Hollywood projects are being filmed in your area and they tend to cast local people for their smaller roles. So this is a great way for you to find paid work. Although, I would hold off until you build some skills and experience before you start submitting. You don't want to build a negative reputation for yourself early on in your career. And lastly, make your own projects. Remember those people in your acting class or in your theater company? They all want to work. So get together and make your own short films. Submit those short films to film festivals. This is a great way to get experience plus to get your work out there to be seen. So there you go. Those are my three easy steps for you to start your own journey as an actor. And believe me, once you start doing these three steps, other opportunities will evolve from there. New friendships, new experiences, and a lot of creative work. Here's one piece of advice that I was given that really solidified what kind of actor I wanted to be. Treat every job as if it's your $1 million paycheck. And this goes from student films to big Hollywood projects. And what does that mean? It means be professional, show up on time, be prepared, know your lines, know your character, do what you say you're going to do, and don't phone it in. And if you follow these three steps, you will begin to build a solid foundation for an exciting, long-lasting acting journey. Put up or shut up. This is the part of the video where I show you that I don't just talk the talk, but I walk the walk. Here's a clip from my very first film project of any kind. It was an amateur feature film that I booked off of Craigslist. I had no film experience whatsoever, and I had only one play under my belt, but I had just graduated from my two-year acting training. I did so much work on this character that I employed that mantra, treat every job as if it's your $1 million paycheck. So, enjoy. Hey! Mr. Bossman, you don't smoke in here! Hey, take it easy, nah! Oh, you wanna smoke? You don't smoke here! Go outside! What are you talking about? Cigarette! The fuck are you fucking losing? Sons of bitches, you take that sick, you wanna smoke, you take puff stick outside! Yeah? Oh, you get down, you're the tough guy, huh? Oh, you fucking do not know how you make your own tough guy! You fucking you two loose sons of bitches! Yeah, fucking two here, you're gonna tough guy! Are you gonna scare me? Oh, yeah, I have. I'm gonna get the fuck out of my fuck out of my fucking house! You loose sons of bitches! Take outside right now, you fucking ass! Get the fuck out of my floor right now! Shut up, man, at your house! Go! Hey, shut up, get the fuck out of here! Thank you very much for tuning into my channel. My name is Byron Vasquez Jr. Be sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more of my personal stories as an actor, as well as tips and tricks and other acting-related content. But for now, that's a wrap. Whew.